Hello everyone, in this activity we're going to distinguish a saturated solution from an unsaturated solution. So here I have two beakers labeled A and B, each of them contains 50 milliliters of distilled water. So I'm going to prepare an unsaturated solution in beaker A. For that, I'm going to add a small amount of sodium chloride, which is table salt, into beaker A, and I'm going to set all the salt is dissolved in water. Now this solution is called an unsaturated solution because it hasn't dissolved the maximum amount of solute. It means that it can dissolve more solute if I add. So I'm going to add more salt and I'm going to step and you will see it's going to be dissolved enough. So this is the result. As you see, all the amount of salt is dissolved and we have a homogeneous mixture. Thus, this is an unsaturated solution which is a solution that has dissolved less than the maximum amount of solute and that's why it was able to dissolve more salt. And to be here B, I'm going to keep on adding salt till, till no more salt is dissolved. So I'm going to add a big amount of salt. I'm going to add four spoons of salt. And I'm going to step. It's a little bit turbid, but you can see that we have two phases right here. This is the undissolved salt. Okay, now what I have here is not a solution. It's a heterogeneous mixture. And it's made up of two phases. Now the liquid part is actually the homogeneous mixture, which is the saturated solution that has dissolved the maximum amount of solute. And the remaining part is the residue, which is the excess amount of salt. Now, if I try to stir more, this amount is not going to be dissolved because the solution has already dissolved the maximum amount of salt. You have to filter this heterogeneous mixture. For that, you need a filter paper, a funnel, and an Erlenmeyer flask. I'm gonna fold the filter paper as follows. And I'll put it right here into the funnel. And then I will pour the content, which is the heterogeneous mixture, right here. These are the results. So here we have the filtrate, which is the saturated solution of salty water. And you see it's one phase. And here on the filter paper, we have the residue, which is the excess amount of salt that was undissolved. To prove that to you, so I'm going to put it into another beaker and I'm gonna try to add another spoon of salt and we're going to see if it's going to be dissolved or not. Now, what do you expect? Actually, no matter how long I step, this added amount of salt is not going to be dissolved. As you see, I have two phases, the saturated solution and the excess amount of salt. So, in this activity, we have prepared an unsaturated solution of salty water and a saturated solution of salty water.